This is Seafield Wastewater Treatment Works and we're currently stood in the sludge treatment centre. The sludge is a byproduct of the wastewater treatment process. Behind me you can see the new thermal hydrolysis plant that Veolia installed in 2014 at a cost of £14 million. This plant enables us to pasteurise the sludge so rather than putting it to landfill, we can now put the sludge on agricultural land. The thermal hydrolysis process is basically a pressure cooker where we inject steam into the sludge, which breaks down the cell walls of the bacteria, pasteurizes them, and also allows the release of more gas in the anaerobic digesters. The anaerobic digesters take the sludge and in a conditions without air, they produce gas. That gas is then used in our combined heat and power engines, which produce enough electricity to power the site 85 to 90% of the time without importing electricity from the grid. When we have more gas than we are able to convert into electricity, it's stored in a big gas holder that looks like a white golf ball. Once the gas is produced, it goes through the gas holder and then goes into the combined heat and power engines to produce our electricity. Once the sludge has been through the thermal hydrolysis process, it comes out of the digesters and is then centrifuged to spin out as much water as possible to produce what we call cake. So once it's turned into sludge cake, lorries come in, remove the cake and take it to farmers' fields and it then gets spread on the land. My name is John Davidson, the farm manager at Pennycook Estate. I've been using TH Cake for about two, two and a half years now. It's a long lasting, slow release fertiliser. When we put it on grassland, we get the benefits for the consecutive years, unlike artificial fertilisers where the benefits are very short term. I find it a cost effective product, apply it once and that will see you through a couple of years. I don't believe there's a lot of leaching takes place again because it's quite a dense solid product it's a slow release so even if you do get a wet spell it seems to adhere to the soil better than artificial fertilizers back in 2009 scottish water and veolia put together a package of 20 million pounds worth of odor improvements throughout the site and when completed in 2011 has had a major improvement on the amenity of the communities surrounding seafield the main odour control unit is taking all the odorous air from within the site that is gathered through these pipes that you'll see around the works and it treats it before the clean air is ejected through the stacks. And that has had a major impact on reducing odour emissions from this site. We're not perfect, there are still releases of odour, but they're much reduced and we're working towards doing even more in the future to make things even better for our customers. We aim to be totally transparent with the community because what goes on in here can impact people outside. So by explaining to people the improvements that have been made and the time it's taken to do so, we hope we'll engender more confidence with them as we move forward.